Morning is a quarter away from 10 o'clock. It's the voice of Indiana County, WCCS, 101.1 FM and AM 1160. Look at this. Look at these guys comparing rings over there. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Tom has a wedding band on. Jack's got his, his My women's, hardware. women's ring. <laughs> <laughs> Did you wear the women's rings today? I, that's that's the first one, and then that's one that Tom got for me a few years ago. There you go. There you go. Tom McConnell. Women's basketball at IUP for eight years. Jack Benedict at IUP for 108 years. <laughs> and both joining me in the studio here this morning. By the way, you can see it on Facebook as well. Coach, good morning to you. Good morning, Todd. Honored to uh, be here with you. Always, you know, been a lot of fun, you know, sharing this microphone with you. And uh, the idea that this guy sitting next to my left is uh, – Makes it really, really special. Yeah, well, my goodness. Uh, you look at the two of you guys. You both have white hair. I'll, I'll note that. Um, <laughs> and you don't. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, Coach, last week the decision uh, was announced that you have uh, decided to step away, going to retire as the women's basketball coach at, at IUP. Couldn't have been easy to make that decision, could it? No, very difficult. My you know, wife and I, uh, you know, as we said many times, did a lot of, praying about it, a lot of talking, a lot of wrestling, you know, and uh, one, because it's it's permanent, and two, because, you know, I feel like I've worked at the best place I've ever had the privilege to, to work at with some amazing people and coach some incredible players who took us on some amazing journeys. And so, um, no, so it wasn't easy, but in the end, we just felt that this was the time and uh, – we, we have great clarity and great peace with it. And this guy sitting next to you over there has been along for almost every game. I've done a few when you were not available, Jack. Right. I recall a trip to Lock Haven a few years ago. Um, <laughs> Good a, for you. On a, <laughs> <laughs> on a Saturday where, where I got to watch. But, but you know, uh, Coach, that particular game uh, in Lock Haven was the first game back after having missed the season before for both Lauren Wallacek and, and Brittany Robinson. Uh, who worked back from injuries, and I thought that the way that you used them and the way that they were so into the game and, and such a big part of the team after having been away for a year really spoke volumes about the type of young ladies that you were able to get to IUP. Oh, blessed, blessed, beyond words, um, amazing. And that whole experience we couldn't have done without Frank Trenny, you know, his guidance and wisdom in bringing those two back um, off of that, those injuries was, was invaluable. I really, you know, relied on him a lot for that, but they were, they were special players, you know, who, um, and, and just young people, you know, it, it was, the other day, my wife and I had a chance to get together with some close friends of ours who have helped make this, this journey with us. And, uh, we sat for an hour and a half and we talked and at the end we kind of realized, you know, we never mentioned once, <clears throat> going to the final four or winning a championship. It was all about those young women yeah. that you just mentioned and what they meant to us and how blessed we were to have them as part of the program. I could just talk for days on, uh, on each of them. Um, you mentioned Brittany. I was just came back from Hungary and uh, where I was with the USA basketball team. And I had a chance to, Work. One of my duties was to work with the post players, and so we would do a drill um, that we would do at IUP, and it just reminded me of Brittany because yes. at our banquet she made a paper plate and gave everybody an award, and mine said, most likely to say he's dropping dimes but really turning it over, <laughs> and I still have that paper plate from how many years ago. You yeah. know, it's just – so I, from Hungary, I made sure I sent her a text and let her know I was thinking about her and, you know, um, how much that she's still with me, as, as all the players that you've mentioned. Jack, uh, of course, uh, for years you have been on the sidelines watching IUP and every sort of sport that we could think of. Uh, <laughs> uh, this is, this is um, bittersweet, isn't it? We, we, we really hate to see the guy go, but what a, what a great time when he was here. Well, I, when I found out, um, which was a few hours before the release actually came out, and then I text Coach uh, shortly after that, 
And uh, he got back to me a little bit later then. And my two words I used were shocked and saddened, mm -hmm. which really explains it because, uh, you know, uh, time goes by so quickly here. And uh, it's not only the success, as you're talking about, of, of the players and, and the teams and the games, but we, uh, we have that family thing on a Division two level that I don't know. I guess they do on D1. You've been there. But it's a uh, it's a little different. Have you heard from some of your former players? I think most all of them. I and, thought so, and that's been, uh, and I didn't expect that. You know, I really didn't. Um, that's been so special um, to be able to, you know, hear these words of affirmation and what their time meant here at uh, IUP that we shared together, and um, I, I'm just hoping that sometime in the near future, you know, we can all get together, whether it be share a meal or, you know, just to, I just want them to know, you know, from the bottom of my heart, how much they meant to me and yeah. how blessed I was. And I know I received from them way, way more than I was able to pour into them. You know, what's interesting, Todd, is, and I've traveled with both teams, of course, men mm -hmm. and women over the years, and they, they're so different. I mean, they're both, <laughs> they're both, uh, they have their, uh, <laughs> They're fun times in a different way. Mm -hmm. and, but the women, and then, you know, of course, you entertain them too sometimes. <laughs> and uh, it's, uh, it's just a great, uh, you know, a great experience for these, these ladies that have gone on and made their lives work. And, you know, we hear from them all the time, different places. And, you know, so what can you say? So what are you going to do now? <laughs> it's a good question. My wife's wondering the same thing. <laughs> but uh, no immediate plans, you know, and uh, I know family's going to be a big part of that, being able to, you know, see my uh, grandchildren more and go to their games and visit them. And, you know, I'm really looking forward to that. Um, but I, I would like to stay in the game in some shape or form. I just, um, you know, I want to teach. I love to teach. I love to present, motivate, and, um, but it was just time to stop, I thought, at this time in my, my life, doing that on a daily basis and that, that commitment that it takes to really, um, you know, do it the right way. And mm -hmm. I just felt that the players deserved, you know, somebody who was, who was willing to do that, you know. And uh, so but I still like to do it in some shape or form. Just don't know what that looks like or where or anything like that. And so, you know, one of the things that are in the job description of a coach is to make this a positive experience for your players. And so I hope to do that, you know, moving forward, you know, whether it might be at a camp or a clinic or mm -hmm. whatever it might be, you know. Um, so we'll, we'll see. There are some wonderful moments for those who've never been to an IUP basketball game, especially at the KCAC, and, and they see the way uh, that you and, and, and the ladies work together. One of the things that really stands out to me, actually two of them, one is the Education Day game, which I think is an amazing institution. Uh, the other is at the end of a game when, uh, you know, it's over, the, the game is over, the congregation at the center of the floor and then the turn, the wave to the people in the stands, they go into the stands. Um, they really make the fans a part of the whole experience of playing basketball at IUP. That, that's special, and I think that's something that's really uh, important to us is because we, when we do that, we're acknowledging that we, we know, we know that we know that we know that we don't do this alone, and we wouldn't be here without – our family, we wouldn't be here without our friends, our, the student body, and we wouldn't be here without all the dedicated supporters of IUP women's basketball, and there are many of them, and I wish I could name them by name right now, and they know who they are, whether it's a season ticket holder, or, you know, whatever it might be, um, that this is, this is truly a family, and you have made this special for us, and your support, your love, your encouragement has been felt. And uh, so it was just important to win or lose, to really acknowledge the people that are there with us every night. Did you ever think that Education Day game would grow into what it has become? 
I saw it, Todd. Uh, I was at Old Dominion before I came here, and I saw it grow there. Yeah. And so I was I was hopeful, but uh, what I didn't anticipate was just the really the connection between um, our players and the different schools. We've then had a chance to go into some of the schools and reconnect with them, and our players would talk and you know, motivate, challenge, encourage, you know, different through different presentations. And that part of it became really special for us. And then the last couple of years, our education department at IUP uh, got involved. And they took it to another level, oh, yeah. another level. It became extra special uh, once the education department and that staff, and they know who they are, um, you know, really came in and, and what what they did was just special. It really, really was. Jack, you, of course, uh, have, as I said, been on the sidelines for a lot of coaches down through the years. What about Coach McConnell will stand out in your memory for a long time? Well, first of all, I've been pretty fortunate, uh, probably covered women's basketball about 30 years. The 87-88 team was probably – the first special team, you know, with Jan Kiger and then through. We haven't had that many head coaches in over 50 years, which shows the stability of the university. I don't know. I just think the overall uh, atmosphere that Coach has presented to the to the women, the, um, the closeness, uh, you know, you're like maybe their great uncle, but yet you're still their coach, and so you're still instructing. And uh, I think just that whole camaraderie, and you kept the banquet going, the women's banquet, uh, which was I remember Sandy Thomas had it that long ago. So that was something, too, and that's always fun because they come up with something. And then, you know what? Special. There are a lot of tears there. Yeah, yeah, a lot of laughter. <laughs> By you of and the players. And that's, I think that's the way it should be, you know, because if, it, if, if the season is done right, you know, you're saying goodbye to your seniors and you're celebrating – them and what they've done and um so i'm really thankful for that tradition here at iup and that has been a uh something that i i've always looked forward to and, and loved that we were able to do that have you recommended to the administration anybody no the job no okay because no. a lot of times they'll do they go yeah. you have somebody in mind no I, the only thing i i would say to todd is that you know i think i've had some pretty great assistants and i think there are several of them who would be Amazing, amazing. But, um, you know, no, I'm, I'm trying to stay away from it's that. It's up to somebody else. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, gentlemen, this could go on for a very, very long time, but we're out of time today. Coach, it has been a pleasure working with you for all these years. Todd, thank you so much. i got to share something with you if we have time. Sure. So I talked about I just got back from USA Basketball, got back late, late Monday night, 26-hour journey getting back. One of my first stops the next day was I went into Sheets, and one of the workers said to me, where's your gold medal? I thought you'd be wearing gold around town. <laughs> and I said, uh, um, how do you know about that? And she said, Todd. Todd has been telling everybody. He's been blasting it on the radio. She didn't say Todd Marino. She said Todd. And I think that speaks to what you mean to our community. You know what I mean? That you are the voice. That. People were listening and they really yeah. appreciate you you're on a first name basis with all of us <laughs> yeah. uh, there, i've had many people tell me they shower with me every morning which is <laughs> kind of disturbing uh, but uh, by golly it's been great working with you for these years and, and of course uh, jack is is uh, someone that we treasure uh, and i know you do too he's meant so much to me so much i just i love this man and just respect the work i've got a book that he for does. you i'm ready <laughs> we'll talk about that later this week we will tom mcconnell it's been a pleasure thank you todd jack it's always a pleasure hey great to come in here and see all of you <laughs> it is the voice of indiana county wccs 101.1 fm and am 1160